I always had a love of God in my heart. It may have not been so obvious as it is now since meeting Guruji, but there was a love of God and I was always searching for something to fulfill that. Sometimes searching in the wrong ways, but still always searching something to fulfill that, that hole that was inside. And um, I was a bit wild when I was young, I'll be honest, um, very wild. And I had a close friend who um, is a Sangha member here today and he was going through the same thing I was going through and one day he told me that um, there's this master that I found, He's, I found this master, it's incredible. And so I watched this video that he sent me and I didn't understand a word of it, or what he was talking about. But there was something there that was just drawing me in. So I actually took a break and didn't watch it again for a while. But I actually don't remember the moment when I started again. Because the next thing you know, I was watching it every day. I was just, I was obsessed, you know, at work on my lunch break, every day just watching satsang all the time. And I was doing it at the same time as my close friend was doing it. But he was going even a step further where he was going to the retreats. And I was like, I can never ever go to a retreat. And that's too much for me to go to a retreat as well. And um, then he, my friend went to work one day at, the, at a retreat in London. And he said, I, have, I can get you in for one day, one, one day for two sessions. And um, I was like, okay. And I remember going to that hall and all I remember is Guruji coming in and I just saw all this light. And I've never experienced something like that before where the whole room was filled with him, just, just this pure white light, but it was tinged with purple as well, which has a history as a, as the color of um, something associated with uh, Jesus Christ and just as kings as well. And then I just, just couldn't stop staring at it. It's such the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And inside me, there was so much peace and just, there was so much beauty I didn't realize was there. And then from then on, it was just, uh, um, it was a very fast train inside. I was struggling a bit. I'll be honest with you. Many things were coming up. I, I was felt very uncomfortable in satsang. Very uncomfortable. Even with the flies coming in my face, they felt like rockets and I couldn't concentrate and I was trying everything. I was uncomfortable sitting on the floor, sitting on the chair. So much things coming up, but it was a physical thing rather than a mental. And on near the last day, I, I actually put my hand up and he pointed to me and I stood up. And I went to the mic and it was this flood of just energy came towards me and it was, I was like stuck in headlights. I didn't know what to do. And he was speaking to me. You know, I believe I asked the question. I said, I said, I don't want to go to London as the same. I don't want to go to London as, I don't want to go to London the same or as the person. And then he began speaking to me, but I couldn't hear a word. All I heard was doosh, 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 doosh in my ears. That's all I heard. And then he was speaking to me and I said, I can't hear you. <laughs> all I can hear is doosh, doosh. And then he said to me, um, yes, but the doosh, doosh, doosh is heard in this as well. And then he spoke some other words. And then all I remember was, I felt the whole, a whole curtain had been lifted on the whole, whole of my existence and it just I can't put it into words right right now but it was it's funny I can't find the words I can just feel the experience right now but I can't find the words it was, it was a complete change. I felt like I just saw the universe. It had just been revealed to me in that moment when he spoke those words. And I didn't remember a word. I didn't even hear a word he said. It was just fully energetic at the time. And I went back to sit in my seat and from that moment on, nothing was the same for me. Nothing was the same. A 
everything. I can breathe again. I can breathe again then. Just everything. It's countless at the same time. I can't begin to say the things he's blessed me with by being here with him in every aspect. My life here, my life even going back to see my family, every single aspect. I don't feel there's anywhere I'm not with him, that he's not apart from me. He's like, me and my father are one in the highest way. If I'm honest with you, something's part of this land, it's, it's part of every, every Sangha member. Like, it's just, just a harmony with the divine. This is what I've found, or I don't want to say even I've found, I've died in here. And there's a continuing death every single moment. It's a death to what is, um, I'll put it in simple, t simple, simple terms, a death to uh, what brings you misery, what brings suffering, what makes you deny what the true happiness that you are inside and that you are loved. Very simple for myself that you are loved and you are loved and even something is, is beyond that as well. Um, if death is too of a strong word, it's just coming back to life as well, coming back to life. From ba for Bajans, it's um, singing praises to the Lord, singing praises to God, the Divine. Mm. And it's just a joy to sing together with one another. And I mean everybody. It's just such a power, you know. Yeah. And it... It's just very powerful. What to, what to say. Off stage... Like every single team, everything in Sahaja, it's here for our growth. And there are challenges that come. But... It has brought powerful introspections to see if where where you stand when the praise comes, when the criticism comes, when the non-acknowledgement comes, does it affect you as well? That's been the powerful thing for me. Like, do you move? Like, because you don't ask for these things, but they come. And also to get over your things as well, because you go up there and you're singing and you're, you're representing the name of God. You have to drop everything. And it's amazing how when you go there, something drops it for you every time. And also the love and support of our sisters and brothers and to see that we're all in satsang together. This is very, very evident for me that no one isn't going through their own transcendence. I just want to say I just love God, but <laughs> let, let's, let, let me clarify for you. It's a good question. Uh, it's funny, somebody actually asked me this question the other day because they're a very strong Christian and they're like, I just don't get it with the Hindu and God's thing. And what changed for me very strongly is when I went to India for the first time. Because when I went to India, it was before I'd come to Sahaja and I had never experienced a place where it was, it was so magic filled. It was, the energy was, it was palpable. This, this, this powerful spirit energy, whatever you want to call it, it was just, what is this, you know? And 
I went to some chantings in, in India and I saw just the devotion and I saw the love and I felt the same energy I felt as if I was in church in a choir even more powerfully at the time even more powerfully at the time because I hadn't been something wasn't m mature enough to see it in everything so when I went to India I was like what, what is this like God is God is so so palpable here it's so powerful spirit is so powerful just the beingness the happiness the joy the, the it's just from chanting these names and the Krishna it's just so there's something so Christ-like in Krishna's energy and Rama's in Rama's energy had a strong affiliation with Rama and Krishna and Hanuman his pure devotion to Sita and Ram like wow it was just like it was just devotion you know it was just it was a love of God it was a love of God and I just felt it so strongly in my heart and just seeing how humble and how devoted the the Indian people were it just completely phew, like this only can be of of good if they're trying these names they only can be the highest you know and through listening to Krishna and Rama it brought me back again to Christ as well and the power of Christ and I went back to church and I saw the power of it in everywhere so it was kind of unifying in a kind of way and just showed me that the God has many expressions but below it God is and then I can sing to Krishna Shiva Mahalakshmi, all the sages and saints, because I know they of they of the same quilt of God, you know, the same material of God. One time I asked Guruji a question. I said to him, um, Father, I'm discovering something and I don't want to lose it because I have a habit of being distracted so can you give me a blessing or any guidance and he said to me the best thing I can say to you may your ground always be the unchanging place the place of awareness because awareness is the only thing that isn't a function your feelings, your emotions all the things that happen in front of you our functions and he said one very powerful thing to me he said even your spirituality is a function and that <laughs> that got me so when this is your ground he said I do not worry about you at all so that's the most powerful thing I pointing Guruji has said to me